Okay, hello, I'm Joshua. Welcome back to another Chappy vlog. Uh, you may have seen my last vlog, it was talking about haircuts. Uh, but today, a bit more of a serious uh, topic. I'm moving to London. Um, so I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about London, Tokyo, differences. Um, any, I don't know what else actually. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm going to be in Tokyo for another two, two weeks. Three weeks, two weeks, two weeks. And it's been good. I've enjoyed being in Tokyo. I've enjoyed meeting Japanese people and other people from around the world. But, um, now it's time to leave. My visa expires and so the next point of this destination is London. I'm looking forward to going to London. It should be exciting. In London, I will have to do something different because Chappie Dining isn't in London so I won't be able to work at such an amazing English teaching, I don't even know what you call it, cafe, experience, you'd have to come and find out for yourself if you, if you wanted to know what it's like, unless you already do know what it's like, then that's probably why you're watching this vlog. But um, in London, I will probably do something different, maybe construction, maybe bartender, maybe taxi driver, maybe, I don't know what else I could do in London, but anything probably, the, the world of possibilities. Um, the Olympics. The Olympics are on in London soon. Um, that's quite exciting. I don't know if you follow the Olympics, but there's lots of different sports in the Olympics, probably like 2,000. And in these sports, every country, most countries, I wouldn't say every country, most countries are represented uh, by different athletes and different sporting people or teams, and they compete for medals, basically to see which country is the best country in the world. And I think usually we find out at the end that it's China or America. But um, the little guys like Japan and New Zealand, we get some medals every now and then. So it's exciting to watch, probably in the more boring events though, like shooting or rowing, but still a medal's a medal at the Olympics, they don't really it's not better if it's for sprinting or skiing across the field, so it's great to watch the Olympics. I don't think I'll get to watch the Olympics though, because London, apparently it's very difficult to get tickets, but if you're going to the Olympics, not you, if you're going to the Olympics, uh, good luck, hope you have a good time. I would just be trying to find a place to live in London, busy place that London is, similar to Tokyo. Although, for me, the comparisons, if I was going to compare London and Tokyo, the first thing that comes to mind is food. Uh, I think food, in Japan, everyone takes good care of making food. Um, they, they use good ingredients, and these things that taste good, fresh vegetables and stuff. In London, they might be a little bit more rugged, they might just at some places just throw meals together cheap as quick as possible. But that works out better for me in London because one, the food's cheaper generally and two, there's more vegetarian options because in Japan there is an obsession with eating seafood or fish. Fish stuff, fish, fish this, fish that, octopus, whale, dolphin, you name it. They eat it in Japan. I prefer not to, so it makes life difficult for me. But in London, it's going to be great. I can't wait. I'm going to be eating so much fake meat, pretend meat, tofu, tofu meat, and it'll be great. Burgers, curry, Thai food, all sorts of. They've got everything in London. It's great. Very multicultural city. So. That's one thing. Another thing I would compare with Tokyo and London is buildings, probably. I think in Japan, 
I don't know if there's anything that's actually older than 40 years old, other than people. I think there's people up to about 150. Some really old people around in Japan, but the buildings only last about 20 years. So there's not much. Architecture is interesting, but you don't get the old kind of ancient architecture like you'd find in London, for example, with a lot of old buildings, castles, monuments, statues, all over the place. So it's interesting in that way. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, looking forward to traveling around Europe. I mean, Japan's great, but if you want to travel, you can go to Guam, Hawaii, uh, a few tropical islands, Saipan, Korea, but you don't get much variety in those places. So in London, you can travel, I mean, it's close to France, Germany, all the rest of Europe. Uh, so I'm looking forward to traveling around there, it should be good. Um, uh, so thanks for watching. It's been good talking to you. Um, this might be my last vlog, maybe. <laughs> it's been an interesting few year and one year in Tokyo. Uh, it's been great working at Chappie Dining and hanging out with the people here. You should probably do that. Come talk to any of the staff at Chappie Dining. I'd love to talk to you and we'd love to have you back. Come and have a good time and I'll see you later. Bye.